What's up guys? Hola. So today we have a special video. We arrived in Belo Horizonte uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. And what is there to do in Belo Horizonte? If you ask anybody, they'll tell you, huh, food, drink, and this market, and right? This market, yeah. Hoje nós nos vamos entrar no mercado central. Vamos passear um pouquinho. Vamos achar toda a comida nova para a gente provar. Are you excited? Ooh, I'm so excited. Tá bom, gente. É, eu tô muito ansioso também para gravar esse vídeo, então vamos entrar. Tá bom, gente. Agora vamos pedir o pão de queijo famoso de BH, de Minas, né? Então vamos lá. Vamos you, lá. Are you excited for pão de queijo? Yes, very excited. It's dois pão de queijo. Pão de queijo. Eles não usam o queijo Minas, que a gente usa o canastra, que geralmente é aqui da região. Aí eles usam, acho que, outro tipo de queijo e não fica tão bom quanto o nosso de queijo aqui. So is the difference between the pound of queijo from here, like this state, and others, is that they use the queijo, like the cheese, from this, this state. This, okay. Yeah. So it's extra fresh, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's more, it's fresher. Cheese from here, from this state, is famous everywhere in Brazil. Okay. Like, if you're saying you're gonna go visit Beaga or Minas, it's like, oh, you have to try the cheese. Okay. So here, here you go. And the other, another thing I noticed too right away is these are bigger than the pound of queijo that I'm used to. I like bigger. All of them are bigger. The pound of queijo that I know from the other parts of Brazil are smaller. This is like the style of the mineral too. The nostro is more like the traditional pound of queijo. There are the smaller and more traditional ones. The people Serve esse tamanho. Uh -huh. Tá bom, muito obrigado. obrigado. A gente faz com esse pãozinho de queijo nosso aqui, uh -huh. um sanduíche de pernil com queijo em panasca na chapa. Ah, é? Muito bom também. Podemos pedir um desses também? Sim. Tá bom. A gente tem uma broazinha de chupar com queijo também, que é bem tradicional de Minas, que é muito bom. Tá bom. É... Vamos pedir um de cada então. Vou fazer o pão de queijo. Muito obrigado. Tá. tá bom, vamos lá. Vamos lá. You can't go wrong with pound queijo, right? No, this is so amazing. So good. E ele vai trazer mais um, mais dois na verdade. Eu não entendi direito o que era. Eu vou perguntar. I didn't understand exactly what it was. I'm gonna ask again. <laughs> but it's like a a sandwich. They put like other stuff inside the pound queijo. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you can. I can eat pound queijo with anything. Me too. <laughs> Primeiramente, I see that. Eu sei pão de queijo, né? Queijo mineiro? Queijo, queijo mineiro, queijo canastra e o pernil. Ah. Aí, aqui a gente chama de dueto mineiro. Foi esse aí pra gente que criou esse dueto? pão de queijo. Dueto mineiro. Dueto mineiro. É esse aí pra gente que criou. Ah, aqui? É, aqui. Legal. É tradicional, é bem, bem conhecido, todo mundo conhece. E agora a gente vai conhecer também. Vocês vão, vocês vão gostar. Tá, e esse aqui? Esse aqui é a nossa broa de fubá com queijo também. Tem uma receita da avó do pessoal aqui. Ah. É bem tradicional de família também. É só aqui no Sabiá que vocês vão achar. So he's saying that this, this is a recipe of somebody's grandma that works here in, in, the, in this little place. And then this is also something that they make here that's famous around. So I'm gonna try to take a bite of this. Yeah. And then queijo canastra is what we're actually gonna go to a queijo canastra farm tomorrow. Uh, so okay. this is the cheese that we're okay. gonna go see how it's made and everything. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> Yo, you gotta try that one. Yeah, my mouth is watering over here. Wow. Like, that might be one of the best sandwiches I've ever eaten. 
It all melts in your mouth. Everything. It does. Itself. Yeah, like the meat is really tender. Yeah. And like melty. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you said. So everything just it's just like and then the flavor of the cheese with it too like balances and then pound of queso. Queso, queso. I, if let's I could, go. yeah, if I could make every sandwich <laughs> with pound of queso, I'd be happy. Absolutely. Yeah. That was delicious. So now we have this. Is I think it's like a. It's gonna be like a. a savory cake, yeah, yeah. pretty much. And everybody knows that uh, recipes from grandmas are the are best Are always recipes. the best, yeah. That's but I love that it's like somebody who works here's grandma. Mm -hmm. That just makes it even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Go ahead. So my first impression is that it tastes a lot like our cornbread. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's a little bit more like you can definitely taste the, that there's a lot more egg in there. Mm -hmm. Like it's a little bit like fluffier. Yeah. And it's not as uh, dense. Like it's dense but not like dense from... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's really good though. It's really good. Well, yeah. And then just the fact that it's from a grandma. like. Our cornbread is always like I think of a grandma, like it's home cooking, mm -hmm. and it just yeah, it just tastes amazing. It's really good. <laughs> All right, so we had pound of queso, regular pound of queso. We had a, a really delicious uh, sandwich. sandwich. <sighs> yeah, that's that was amazing. <laughs> and then the cornbread. Uh, <laughs> Tudo de bom. Tudo de bom. <laughs> All right, so now we're in a cheese shop here in the market, cheese. and so this is like traditional queijo or cheese from this region. Uh huh. And this is guayabada. We've had. Uh, I've given you a little bit of this, so you've tried this, but I don't think you've had these two together. So this is um, Romeo and Juliet. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So you eat them both together. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm not usually a super big fan of this combination, but that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because you get the sweet and you get the savory. Exactly. Yeah. And mixed together and they kind of form this this harmony. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Romeo. I, I like the Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, That's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Tasty. I love it. Queijo. More queijo. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yo, que que é mesmo? Um bolinho de feijão. Um bolinho de acarajé. Okay. Pode comer. So it's a, it's a ball of like beans. What's el el gosh pimenta? Pimenta, gosh pimenta. Pimenta. Do you like uh, hot sauce? Yes. See. Ah, tá. É ele que fala inglês, né? Sim, sim. Tem que aí se quiser pode colocar com pimenta. Se ah, você é, gostar com pimenta, é, arde muito. Okay, okay. Ele entendeu o que eu falei? Entendeu? É bem forte. Strong. A gente gosta de comida pimentada. Ah, tá. Tá. Ok, so it's a fried beans. beans. Cheers. Cheers. Entendi <laughs> nada, mas mesmo. É diferente, é diferente. É comida de tipo de onde? A cara é da, é da Bahia. Ah, da tá. Bahia. Okay, é so da Bahia. So it's from a state in the northeast of Brazil. Ah. Bahia. 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 Alright guys, so we have here a sample of cachaça. So cachaça is like the traditional it's a, it's made from sugar cane, it's like rum. You had a caipirinha last night. A little already. Caipirinha, yeah. So this will be the second time you're drinking cachaça in Brazil. Amazing. But here we go. Let's Wait, try. And you guys this is, know how to drink it? You sip it, right? Sip it, but keep your mouth closed. You drink like it. you drink all of it and then yeah. keep your mouth closed. Okay. Okay. I didn't know there was like a special way to drink alcohol. There you go. In the You're U.S. Limited. In the U.S. You just throw it all Should back be. and then that's it. Right? You gotta, yeah, you gotta appreciate it more. <laughs> Woo! You like it? Yeah, yeah I me too. like it. It's very smooth, like it's a smooth Ex alcohol. Exactly, it doesn't yeah. hit you really hard. It goes down nicely. Yeah. All right, so these are empadas, which are like a torta in, in Argentina, Argentina or yeah. in other places. Yeah. Same concept, like uh, dough on the outside, meat usually on the inside, 
Um, but this one is with banana. Banana. And we also have one with uh, Romeo and Juliet also oh. to try. So. Uh, and this one? And this one is palmito, né? Palmito. Palmito, yeah. E frango. E frango, yeah, e chicken frango. also. Oh, okay. Mm. First, what do you think of yours? Let me try. Muito bom, it's delicious. Um, has the chickens really good and with the dough on the outside yeah. is... So you can see the palmito right here. These little chunks yeah. oh, are the palmito. Yeah. And that's... It's like a vegetable. It's palm heart. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't recognize it. I had no <laughs> idea what it was, but it tasted good. Yeah. So it's almost like they use it here like we would use it. Like if you saw this in the US, I think it would be like with potatoes. Like okay. it'd be like a torta with chicken and potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture of the palmito for me is a little bit weird. I was gonna say this one I like more because it's more consistent and it's uh -huh. the creamy it melts in your mouth too. Yeah. And this one with banana, like they love to do mix the the sweet and savory flavors together when they're making a lot of stuff. They're smart. <laughs> smart, really smart. <laughs> yeah, like with the Romeo and Juliet or, or this or they have other dishes too. Yeah. But very, very good. All right, so now we have some queijo, queijo to eat with dolce de leche, which is something that you live in Argentina, so you know all about it. I know dolce de leche. But this is homemade dolce de leche with uh, queijo chimines. So a Brazilian twist. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's going along with the tradition of eating something sweet with something savory. Which I love that. Okay, vamos lá. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so, muito legal. Um, <laughs> I've been eating the dulce de leche by itself, but with the cheese, the ballot. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's something that you like. We as Ameri like, it's something that I would never think to eat together. Yeah, totally. But it's really good. <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, that's you can't say much more than it's amazing. There are more things here that we can try, but there are some things that we don't have to try here in the market. So we're going to take a lot of things to home. Alright, so we have spent like a couple hours here in the market. Yeah. What do you think? Um, it's amazing. There's everything here. Everything you can imagine. There's like cheese, uh, restaurants, coffee, um, you can buy stuff for your house. You yeah. can buy a dog or a bird <laughs> if you want also. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite thing that we tried? Cajio. Cajio, the, the, the pow the pow de cajio sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. yeah, with the with the pork inside mm -hmm. and the cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, when it was like melting over the side. Yeah, that was also my favorite thing. <laughs> We also brought uh, a bunch of stuff that we're gonna take home and try. So we have some fruit, um, we have some other chip like dosinos to try, we have a uh, salgadinos also. Então espero que vocês tenham gostado do parte 1 do vídeo. A gente vai voltar para casa provar essas coisas que a gente comprou. É isso, tchau, tchau. Tchau.